We're here with head men's basketball coach Isaiah Cavaco for his weekly check-in on GoYo.com. Uh, coach, last week started off with that thrilling 63-62 uh, comeback win over Allegheny there in the last second. And then uh, close out the week with a tough one out at Wabash, where we did play a competitive first half, but things got away with us there from the second half. First, talk about that victory. I mean, that's obviously an emotional win for you, something that you know can hopefully springboard you here for the second half of the season. Yeah, it was good because you know it was very similar to you know like the Anderson game and some of the other close games we've played this year where we have not uh, come away with a win. So, you know, regardless of how it happened, um, you know, we proved that we could find a way in the last minute or two to, to pull away with a victory. Um, you know. It's, Definitely a lot to work on. It's easier to work on something after you win a game, but you don't need to fix some of the problems. You know, I think we we're up with 3:30 to go, up by eight. Um, you know, it really shouldn't have gotten to that point, all, uh, in all honesty. So, um, definitely some things to build upon, but uh, it's easier to teach those lessons on a win. Yeah, and then now, you know, on Saturday you go out to Wabash. You play a pretty good first half, like you said, defensively held down to 28 points. Uh, you're right there within striking distance, and then things kind of got away from us there in, in the second half. You know, it's just that thing of, of probably about learning to play on the road a little bit more. Yeah, it is. You know, um, you have to withstand the first punch usually from the visiting team. You know, I think we were jaded a little bit because we got off to a good start against Worcester, and I thought, you know, because uh, Wabash jumped on us early, we got a little rattled. Um, we need to understand that our defense is our strong suit. We need to understand that uh, our energy should come from that, and just because we have a bad shooting game, uh, our shooting half, uh, we can't go in halftime acting like we've lost the game. Like you said, we held them to 28 points. Uh, we only scored 17, but you know our best player goes 0 for 9 in the half. Uh, you got to assume we can turn things around, and, and that's just the mindset. Yeah, and then looking ahead here tonight against Kenyon College, uh, coming to town, a uh, home game for you. We've been playing pretty well at home now on the flip side, 5-3 and three in the year at home. Obviously, this is a critical game for the conference. It'll you know put you in the picture for the tournament if you uh, win this game here tonight. So what do we got to do to uh, take down the Lords? Well, to throw out the coaching cliches, we just have to worry about us. You know, I think if we put too much pressure on this game, uh, we won't come out and play our best. So, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is we do, we need to slow down some of their interior guys. I think that's what they want to do first and foremost is going to the post. Something that's given us problems um, over a couple of the games this year so far. Uh, but I think Danny's playing much better. Uh, Andrew's going to defend in the post a little bit more. Seth's coming along. Uh, so I think we're more prepared for an interior attack than we've been in the past. Uh, and I think our guards just need to do a little bit better job of controlling the tempo and, and making sure we're getting good shots and not going through those offensive droughts. And, uh, you know, I think we shoot the ball better here, so I'm um, looking forward to a big night. Yeah, and then on Saturday, travel back out to Indiana. Another tough, long road trip for you to take on DePauw, a new conference member. So this will be the first time we've uh, taken them on in a while. So what do we know about the Tigers? Well, we know they're dangerous. We know they've historically been good. Um, we kind of treat them as a Wittenbergish type team. Um, you know, they've knocked off some of the best teams. They beat Wabash before we got to Wabash. Uh, so we know that they can they can play great. We also know they can have down nights. I know they played some close, uh, tight, competitive games with some teams that we've either beaten or, or, or been pretty equal to. So uh, we just need to be ready to play, and hopefully uh, it's one of those good days for us. Thanks, Coach, and good luck this week. Thanks.